In this video, I'm going to share to you how to test the segregation resistance of your SCC mixture using the BSEN 123511 test method. And at the end of this video, I will provide recommendations to enhance the stability and resistance to segregation of your SCC mix design. So keep on watching. The sieve segregation resistance test is used to assess the resistance of self-compacting concrete to segregation. I'll show you how, but first, here are the apparatus that you need to prepare. Sieve receiver. Balance. 5 mm sieve. Sample container. And stopwatch. Now let's start sampling this beautiful SCC mix using 20 mm nominal maximum size of aggregate, OPC, and 5% silica fume. Notice that the mixture is soft and hugely flowable. Now place at least 10 liters of concrete in the sample container and cover to prevent evaporation. Allow to stand in a level position without disturbance for 15 plus 0,5 minutes. Meanwhile, record the mass of empty sieve receiver. Next, place the sieve on top of the sieve receiver. And with the top of the sample container, 500 plus or minus 50 millimeters above the sieve, Steadily and carefully pour 4.8 plus or minus 0.2 kilos of concrete, including any bleed water onto the center of the sieve in one operation. Take note that we have zero the balance in this example before pouring the concrete. Then record the mass of concrete only, excluding the sieve and receiver. Allow the concrete to stand in the sieve for 120 plus or minus five seconds, and then remove the sieve vertically without agitation. Let's look at this mortar and paste that pass through the sieve. It looks like very less. Record the mass of the receiver, including the material that has passed through the sieve. Now that we have all the required weights, it's time to do the math. The segregated portion SR is calculated from the following equation and reported to the nearest 1%. Moving on, SR equals 1220 minus 770 gram multiplied by 100, then divided by 49990 gram equals 9%. Now reference to BSN 206, let's find out which segregation class does SR 9% belongs to. So according to table 11, our SCC mixtures SR falls to class SR2, which is less than 15% based on the result of this trial. If you want to get the same amazing result, I encourage you to explore ACI 237R to learn general applicable methods for selecting mixture proportions for SCC. Here you'll find out that silica fume has the ability to reduce the mobility of the water within the concrete matrix, and at rates of 5% or below, the plastic viscosity of SCC decreases. Finally, follow this SCC mixture parameters to achieve best results. Did you learn something today? Please like, share, and subscribe to watch more concrete learning videos from our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.